song from my childhood. M I C K Y M O U S C. That's how you spell corruption, kids. Folks, welcome to another edition of No, I'm not kidding you. I, your friendly hat wearing cowboy, come before you once again with news of the weird wonderful. I wonder how long uh, will it be before the off-repeated charge on this program to get your kids out of public school will welcome a brother or sister phrase into its home in the form of get your kids out of Disney and why, you may ask, because things are getting hinkier by the day over at the Magic Kingdom. Woo! The company's chief corporate affairs officer, a guy named Jeff Morrell, has resigned his position after only three months stating that he is not the right fit for the position. That in and of itself might not be cause for much alarm. Corporate turnover is what it is, but guess who's come along to take his place? Does the name Christina Shockey mean anything to you? Probably not, but she served in the Obama administration as a special assistant to the president and a communications director to the first lady. She also was the deputy communications director for Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign in 2016. Now cue the spooky music and the weird lights right here. It gets better. Recently, she also served in the Biden administration as the head of the federal government's national COVID-19 vaccine education campaign. I don't know about you, But I trust this lady already about as far as I could throw Dumbo, by which I mean the elephant, not the most recent president this chick served under. Now, it's worth noting that the guy who's leaving, Morrell, he helped put together Disney's initial response when people got mad at them for how they reacted to the parental rights and education legislation. You know, the supposed don't say gay bill. Yeah, they dipped their corporate toe into what turned out to be scalding hot water and have been trying to clean up after themselves ever since. Now, initially they said, and I quote, Our goal as a company is for this law to be repealed by the legislature or struck down in the courts, and we remain committed to supporting the national and state organizations working to achieve that, end quote. Well, that didn't work out too well for them because Governor DeSantis turned right around and took away their self-governing privileges and special tax status, something they'd had for 55 years. Hard to imagine why the guy who wrote that statement all of a sudden decided that the role didn't fit him. Well, life is full of mysteries. Perhaps we'll never know. Folks, there is no such thing. As a don't say gay bill, you know it, I know it, now Disney knows it as well. In fact, a new poll came out the other day that showed the overwhelming majority of people approve of the Florida parental rights bill when it's accurately described. That means Republicans, Democrats, and everybody else. The fact that it caught as much flack as it did serves only to show you what a really loud smear campaign can do because that's what this one was. It's just loud. It wasn't well-crafted because it would be impossible to take the notion that sexuality shouldn't be groomed into our little kids and spin that with a well-crafted narrative. But if you shout loud enough, long enough, and enough times that 2 plus 2 equals 5, there's a gaggle of morons who are going to believe you and start shouting it right alongside you. Christina Shockey, we're keeping an eye on you, girl. And hey, Disney, just so you know, we're keeping an eye on you, too. Maybe you should start paying attention to the polls instead of just your Twitter feed and realize that the wind can shift in a direction you don't like real, real fast. Ah, Disney. Can't wait to see him shut the doors. Can't wait to see him shut down. I mean, again, I used to enjoy Disney World. Used to love it. Used to love taking the kids there. We used to have a good time. Now, nope, not so much. Can't Just can't buy into it. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, again, you. I, I'm sure I could go to Disney tomorrow. I'm sure I could spend a day at the Magic Kingdom, go to Epcot, Go to whatever, you know, the deal over there, the the animal kingdom. I'm sure I could spend a day over there and my kids wouldn't come out, you know, groomed. But again, we, we we saw behind the curtain. We pulled it back. We saw what the wizard looks like.